morning everyone time for another video thanks for watching um, you might recognize where I am this morning I'm down the end of Boom Road it's a place I come to uh, quite often between Tide and Nathaville not too far from home uh, I've taken winter shots here of the mountains last time I was here I took some sunrise shots to the east this morning I'm trying something a little different stick with me and you'll see what I'm doing Right, so I've got myself a new lens. I got one for my birthday. It's a, a Canon 55 to 250 millimeter, and what I'm trying to do is. <clears throat> A little bit of wildlife photography so that's what I'm doing this morning um, down here it's kind of late in the season for uh, getting too much wildlife for waterfowl most of it's we're early November most of the geese and migrating birds have already gone through ducks what's left that the hunters haven't gotten already are here but um, We'll see what we can do with this. Really what I'm looking for, there's a great blue heron that I've seen a couple times here. I'm trying to get some shots of him, but he's pretty elusive. He's pretty skittish. So I'm going to see what we can do. If not, we'll get a few shots of ducks or whatever else we can find. So what I found is that I have to be here this time of day, year, I have to be here about <clears throat> 9.30 in the morning to get the right light too early and this is all in shadow and it's too dark. I've tried to come by late in the afternoon, had a nice shot of the, green, uh, the heron, but this I was looking straight into the sun, I couldn't see anything, which it didn't turn out too good. sign of the heron this morning. But there's uh, another bird over there. I'll see if I can get him. If not, we'll get some ducks. It's beautiful here this morning. <laughs> of rocks you see here are all what's left of the piers that held the booms in place from back in the log drive days of the log drives and the rest of this river it kept the logs from going into this uh, lagoon in here trying to get away from the uh, automatic settings on my camera. I'm trying to learn the manual settings. Today I'm in um, aperture priority, which means that I can set a low f-stop number and <clears throat> the camera will look after the shutter speed and the ISO. Thanks for coming with me this morning. I'm watching. Hopefully I got a few good pictures. We'll see how they turn out. We're back in the studio. 
Okay, kitchen table. Doing some video editing. Uh, things didn't work out this morning exactly like I planned. That blue hair and he was a goner. I couldn't find him. Uh, I suppose he's gone south for the winter. Can't blame him. Things have been really cold here. It's been below zero. Everything's frozen up every night. Um, I, first day I went was my fault. Kind of lesson learned. I spooked him and he took off and all I got was a couple shots of him uh, flying off in the distance. But uh, and then they out, that afternoon I went down. Nice shot of him standing on the bank. The sun right in my eyes and all I could get was kind of a silhouette of him. I'll pop a couple of those up there just to show you what I mean. Today wasn't a total loss. Um, saw some, got some nice pictures of ducks, saw some geese, saw some, lots of seagulls. But there was one bird I, I saw, I'd never seen it before, and I got real close to him, got a lot of good shots of him. Checked him in the bird book later, and I think he was an American bittern. I'd never heard of it. Uh, you guys can look it up and see if you think I'm right. But uh, anyway, I'll put those shots up and a few other shots I got. And, uh, and again, thanks for watching, and remember.